Hi everyone, this is Amir Golami, and today I will be describing our latest work on Hawk V3, a dyadic neural network quantization framework. This is a joint work with Joe, Jen, Zach, Gili, Eric, Jenny, Lo Yuan, Yida, Michael, and Kurt in a joint collaboration between UC Berkeley, Shanghai Jiatong University, as well as AWS Group at Amazon. So the summary of our work is as follows. Hawk V3 is a new integer-only quantization framework that only uses integer multiplication, addition, and bit shifting for the entire inference. And importantly, there is no floating point arithmetic used anywhere in the computational graph or even integer division. In particular, we don't observe any accuracy degradation or very, very little accuracy degradation for int 8 quantization with this approach and up to 5% higher accuracy than the prior state-of-the-art integer-only work from Google. We present a novel integer linear programming formulation for mixed precision in foreign intake quantization that provides a practitioner the optimal trade-off between model size of a quantized model, the latency, and accuracy. We perform direct hardware implementation and verify the results. We perform, uh, we, we extend the TVM. We think this is the first implementation of IN4. We extended the TVM support for quantized networks to, to IN4 both uniform and mixed precision quantization. And we observed up to 50% better speed up with int4 compared to int8 int quantization with high accuracy. And so quantization is a very good approach for, for reducing the model size and improving speed. But one of the major problems with existing quantization algorithms is that they cast quantized weights and activations to floating point precision. And as a result, they perform the arithmetic in floating point precision. And this approach is sometimes called a, a fake quantization in the literature. So this is illustrated in the figure here. Let's say you have a weight that's quantized to int4 and an activation that's quantized to int, uh, to int4. So to perform the multiplication between these weights and activations, the so-called fake quantization approaches first cast these int4 weight and activation to floating point, so they cast it to FP32, and then they perform FP32 multiplication and FP32 accumulation to compute the result of this multiplication. And once they compute the result, at the end they perform the so-called requantization approach where they go from 32-bit floating point format to a 4-bit format. While this allows you to reduce the model size, but it doesn't allow you to, to, to utilize low precision hardware units that are faster than floating point multipliers. multipliers. And so our approach is, is in, in Hawk V3 is the true, what we call true quantization, where the multiplication and accumulation is performed with integer arithmetic. And in particular, the multiplication is happening in in 4 precision, and the accumulation is happening in in 32. And after we get the results in in 32, for the requantization step, we perform dyadic scaling to, to, to change the number from in 32 precision to in 4. And this dyadic scaling only requires integer multiplication and bit shifting. So dyadic numbers are numbers where are rational numbers where the numerator is an integer number and the denominator is a power of two. For example, three over 16. We enforce this scaling, this dyadic scaling, to have a rational number where the numerator is at most an int 16 number. So that when we are performing the scaling, we only need to perform integer multiplication, low precision integer, uh, integer uh, multiplication and bit shifting. So why is this important? So here we're showing a result uh, from Marcus Moller, where he's showing the logical units required for performing an eight by eight integer multiplication versus the hardware required for performing an eight by eight integer division. As you can see, the depth and the complexity required to perform division is much, much, uh, much more complex than performing multiplication. As a result, making sure that we don't have any division allows us to better utilize for example, FPGAs, or better utilize a, a custom hardware ASIC. And this approach actually works pretty well. So here is the result for in-8 quantization with our approach, and we can get close to baseline accuracy and significantly exceed even fake quantization approaches that use floating point arithmetic. So here we're reporting the baseline accuracy for ResNet 50, which achieves 77.72% top one accuracy on ImageNet with 32 bit weight, and 32-bit activation. This model has a footprint of 97.8 for the unquantized model with a 
bit ops b ops of about four thousand giga giga b ops. So this is essentially floating point for for uh, you know multiplied by the bit precision for weights and activations. The prior state of the art from Google is the integer only approach, which uses integer arithmetic and achieves a set accuracy of 75.90%. Our approach is able to get significantly better accuracy of 77.58%. And this is due to the way that we treat the batch numbers. And importantly, we are able to achieve better accuracy than the uh, than even fake than floating point uh, quantization approaches that use FP32 arithmetic, such as RequeQuant. We can actually go even further and perform low precision dyadic quantization. And this is a result for using 4-bit and 8-bit. So we restrict the weights and activations to only use 4-bit and 8-bit quantization. And we are able to achieve state-of-the-art accuracy of 76.73%, which is significantly higher than uh, even floating point, uh, floating point uh, quantization approaches. So the code is available online and please contact us if you have any questions. Thank you for listening and have a great rest of your day.